that's a knockout blow from the cat. But the praying mantis is back on its feet. Unbelievable! It has a face like an alien's. It knows your every move. And once it gets a hold of you, it doesn't mind eating you alive. This is a praying mantis, one of nature's deadliest insects. What makes this insect so deadly? What's the biggest animal it can take on? And should you be afraid of this deadly carnivore? Center yourself as we explore the powers of this legendary hunter. The praying mantis is a long, twiggy green or brown colored insect with a tiny triangular head no larger than a pin. It would be easy to dismiss the praying mantis as a bit of foliage or a stick insect, but the mantis religiosa is a deadly carnivore and nature has spared no detail in making it the relentless hunter that it is. It gets its name from its trademark hunting stance. Standing very still on its four hind and middle legs, the praying mantis folds its two front or raptorial legs as if in prayer. So innocent. Its raptorial legs are lined with spines to trap the prey in less than one-tenth of a second. Praying mantises can hunt birds, frogs, and guppy fish. Even garden snakes can't coil around and escape their fatal grips. This insect can calibrate the speed of its attack to suit the size and movement of its prey. It waits for the precise moment to shoot its arms out and grab its victim. The mantis will usually puncture its prey's head and eat the brain first. It's just hungry for knowledge. Its five eyes detect movement and variations in light. Unlike most other insects, the praying mantis's large compound eyes face frontward. These insects don't need peripheral vision because they can turn their heads 180 degrees. No other insect can do that. They can also rotate their bodies two and a half times in one second. And they're especially likely to do this midair when they're jumping distances twice their body length. This insect has some serious ninja skills. But maybe this ninja insect is a lover, not a fighter at heart? Um, I wouldn't bet my money on that. Mm -mm. Female praying mantises are bigger, stronger, and hungrier than males. In about 28% of all breeding encounters, the female bites the male's head off while mating with its abdomen. Carrying eggs takes a lot of energy. And what better way to replenish that energy than to go for the juicy meal staring you right in the face? Eating the male also provides necessary amino acids and allows her to produce twice as many eggs. With the male praying mantis's inhibitive brain receptors gone, he will likely copulate longer and deposit more sperm. But sometimes it's not that complicated. A female praying mantis is just as likely to bite her mate's head off because he was too annoying. Can anything stop this killing machine? With luck, frogs, birds, and some lizards eat some praying mantises, but these insects are not an easy catch. Their flat bodies hardly cast shadows, and their colors allow them to blend in perfectly with grass and other foliage. They rock back and forth to match the movement of surrounding foliage. And if you do succeed in spotting one, a praying mantis will flare its wings up and extend its legs fully to appear as big as possible. When all else fails, this brave insect will raise its fists and prepare for battle, no matter how large and vicious its opponent is. So, should you rethink having a picnic in the warm grass? Fortunately, praying mantises are not poisonous, and their mouths are too small to bite you. They also don't carry any diseases. Phew! But are there other bloodthirsty critters lurking in that grass? How well do you know the mighty tick? We've got everything you need to know in another episode of Crazy Creatures. Grasping their prey at blinding speeds and females biting their mates' heads off is what praying mantises do. And that's why they're crazy creatures. <laughs>